oh my goodness, so sorry I'm late this morning. Three minutes late. Uh, I was having trouble connecting to the Facebook again. But we are here. Hey, today, <laughs> today's card tutorial is brought to you by the letter Z. <laughs> Oh my goodness, in today's card tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a fun fold card that is referred to as the double Z fold. And uh, I'll be using paper from Gilded Autumn Suite and the stamp set Gather Together. All right, let's get started. For those of you who do not know me, hey, good morning, Kim. My name is Christina Reese, and this is Creating with Christina. I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on my Facebook page here. And let's go on and get started. Good morning, Dorothy. All right. Um, the paper we're using today is from the Gilded Autumn, and if you haven't seen this paper, um, I'm going to try to show it without it getting too close. There we go. Good. And those of you who purchased my card class, you have a half a pack of this. It's beautiful paper, and we're going to be using some of this today. We're also using the stamp set gather together and this is in the new mini catalog if you do not have a catalog and would like one if you don't have a stampin up demonstrator just send me an email and i'll send you a catalog the only thing i ask is that you do purchase something from me so that um i can uh that'll cover the cost of the shipping um, and the cost of the catalog okay so here's what we're using today actually we're not using well we are here is the Oh, come here. Oh, it's stuck to my board. Here we go. This is the bundle that goes with the um, Gather Together. It punches out the leaves, and then these dies emboss the leaves, and we're going to do some of that with the gold paper, so that's real pretty. And then um, for our sentiment, I've pulled out the Stitch Nested Dies. I love these. These are so awesome. Okay, let's go on and get started then. Um, making a double Z fold card is going to just increase your skill set. That's why, why I'm doing this video is I want to encourage you all to go beyond just a regular card. It, they're very simple fold cards. I show you how to put them together step by step. And so I'm going to challenge you this weekend to make a double Z fold card. And then of course, send it out to somebody. If you want any other fun fold card ideas, in my playlist on my YouTube channel, there's a playlist called Fun Fold Cards, and you can click on that and see all the other ones. And Evelyn from Germany, good morning! <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, I'm glad you got through. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, I had trouble getting on to Facebook this morning, Evelyn, so we're both, both having troubles, but we are here. All right, so the playlist fun folds. Here we go. The supplies you're going to need for this card. The first thing is a card base. And our card base is four and a quarter by 11 inches. And we're going to score this two places, the regular five and a half and the eight and a quarter. So I pull my little arm out here so I can get to eight inches eight and a quarter. All right, so, and why we call this a fun fold card, I mean, why we call this a Z fold, well, it's fun fold because you're folding it fun, but there's our letter Z. <laughs> the next piece that, and we, and I'm using, um, like I said, I'm using the uh, Gilded Autumn, so I pulled the colors from this page, and this is uh, Cajun Craze here. The next piece that we have is the double Z, the second Z that we have is cut at three and a quarter. So it's an inch shorter than the first one. It's three and a quarter and it's only 10 inches across. So we cut an inch off of the end also. So an inch smaller than the first Z. And we're going to score it at four and a quarter and seven and a quarter. These uh, marks, um, score lines, all that stuff will be in the, be on my blog. That's what I'm trying to say. 
Okay, so that goes that way and that goes that way. There we go. And we have our second Z. <laughs> We're gonna need some designer paper, some scrapbook paper as most people call it. And I've pulled from the Gilded Autumn, let me pull all this off of there. From the Gilded Autumn, this piece, the back looks like that. And I also picked this piece I showed you earlier. You're also going to need um, a clear piece that you can uh, write your note on. Okay, it's not much to write, but that's all right. These pieces are cut at, this one is three by four and a quarter. This one is three at two and a half. And this one's also three at two and a half. Okay, so those are our pieces of paper uh, to put on here. Now, We are going to do some stamping and cutting. So the first thing I'm going to stamp, and let me pull my stamp set out again. Here's the stamp set, and we are going to, well, I can't seem to pick up my papers this morning. Come here, little guy. All right, so I just took the Cajun Craze paper, and I stamped with the Early Espresso Brown and just cut it out with the die. The second one I did is I cut these two pieces out of the gold uh, foil paper, okay? And the Gilded Autumn Suite, if you buy the entire suite, you get three shades of metallic paper, and that's really cool. So we have that. And then also, I stamped the Season of Thanks here, and then I cut it out with the nested die. All right, so we've got all that already done for us. Oh, one more thing, I also did the pumpkins and I colored the pumpkins with Cajun Craze. Um, they're a little dark, but that's okay because it just goes with the color scheme. And I think that's it. All right, let's push all that out of the side. And our next step, let's see, whoa, oh goodness. Sorry about that, you guys. <laughs> hey, Nicole, my nails look pretty. Well, thank you. Yes, I finally, I had them redone yesterday. <laughs> Thanks, good morning, Debbie. All right, uh, next step. So we have stamped and cut our leaves and our sentiment. Now we're going to assemble our card front. All right, we're not gonna put our Z together yet. Let's, uh, this is the front of the card, okay? And we're going to attach all of this stuff on there. So we're gonna start with the big leaf and I just need a little glue here. I like using um, strong adhesive when I have a, a an interactive card like this. Um, people tend to open and close it a lot, and so you want your items to be uh, stuck on there really well. And we're just gonna put that little leaf kind of to the left a little because our sentiment's gonna come out to the right. All right, and I just glued that on there. These, of course, will pop up. Well, one will lie flat and one will pop up. Come here, they're not wanting to pick up, are they? All right, so we'll do that. there. Okay. And we want our sentiment in here. Okay. And let me get a dimensional for this one. Oops. There we go. I love fall. Do you guys love fall? How many of you guys favorite favorite season is fall? Or I guess I should ask, what is y'all's favorite seasons? Y'all can put uh, what your favorite seasons are in the comments down below. That'd be fun. But mine is obviously fall uh, because, and I don't know if this is really because, um, but I was born in October and all of my birthdays growing up were Halloween themed because I'm born really close to October on the 25th. But I didn't mind, I loved it. <laughs> what about you guys? Is your favorite season the season you were born in or another season? I know people have lots of reasons for, for liking the seasons that they like. All right, and this, oh, I love this ribbon. This is also part of the Gilded Autumn Suite. And this is beautiful mint uh, woven ribbon and it's oh, real soft. And the best way to put on ribbons, bows like this, is with a glue dot. So if you don't have any glue dots, get yourself some glue dots for putting on um, 3D objects such as bows and trinkets and things, all right? And you just stick it on there and then pull it off and then stick it on your project. 
and just press down. Now one thing about this ribbon when you tie it in a knot, however, it is going to be pretty thick. It's going to be hard to go through the mail. I mean, technically it is only a quarter of an inch, but with the thickness of the two layers of the cards, uh, this card may require extra postage because of this knot. Um, what happens is the knot is so big that it catches in the sorting machine at the post office. So just want you to be aware of that. Um, all right, so we have created our cover. Real simple, just layered some leaves on there with our sentiment, season of thanks, and we are done. Okay, well, I didn't even, did I stick that on there? No, I didn't. I need to put some glue back there. Hold everything. There we go. Now it's stuck on there. Okay. All right. So this is how the Z goes together, okay? So you're going to adhere, this is the front, the larger. So let me let me show you this. You have, you know, this is a regular card here, okay? And we folded this back on itself. That's all we've done. So this is the inside of our card. This piece we're putting in the other way. So if you did it this way, it would be like the front of the Z, but you don't want to put it in this way. You want to turn it around because you want the larger side of the smaller Z as your card front, okay? And you're just going to uh, glue that on there, heavy adhesive, and just kind of get a um, even border all the way around, all right? And then put some glue back here, close the card, and press it down so that it lands in the right spot. And then you can open and close it real easy. So let me do that. Okay, so first we glue this on. Okay. And this inside piece is just one inch smaller all the way around than our card base, so you can remember that. The card base is four and a quarter by 11. That's a traditional card base. And the inside part is just one inch smaller, three and a quarter by 10. Now, we have these two stuck together. All right, we want to stick this back part, but we want to stick it correctly. So what we do is we put the glue back here, and then we close the card. Okay, come here. and press. Of course, if my bow wasn't back there, it'd be a little easier. <laughs> and press. Okay. Just hold that there for a minute. Evelyn says, fall is a nice season with us, but I prefer summer because it always starts getting cold in autumn, but it is the perfect season. Hey, Evelyn, so where exactly in Germany are you? And if you drew a line from where you live over straight over to America, what state in the United States would you fall um, on so we can get an idea of what your uh, temperate zones are. That would be cool. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but Debbie says summer, but her birthday's in the fall. That Okay, so it's not always, and Kim is in the spring, so we have lots of different season lovers here. Did y'all get that? I hope so. It's done. So let me repeat. The card base, four and eleven, four and a quarter by eleven. The inside is three and a quarter by ten. You uh, get this as even as possible, the top, the side, and the bottom, and glue that down. And once it's secure, then you put glue on the back of this piece, and as you close the card, you uh, hold it so that it can attach in the correct spot. And then once it's attached, you have a double Z-fold. <laughs> Cool, huh? So easy. And then it's so fun. This card you can do, I mean, I'm doing it in fall, but this is just a card base. You can do whatever designer paper, scrapbook paper that you have, use those colors and create whatever, you know, a birthday card, a Christmas card. Um, yeah, all kinds of cards. So there we go. Let's put our this piece on. Okay, and whoa, wait a minute. I didn't cut that right. That is, sorry about that, you guys. I can see that I didn't cut it right. Oh, unless, well, unless you just want uh, 
brown at the top and the bottom, but I don't. I want that, so I've cut this a quarter inch wrong, so let me change that. This is not four and a quarter. This should be four inches here, so let me trim that off, and I'll trim it back here. So this should only be four inches, not four and a quarter. Ooh, good thing my leaf isn't in the way. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Yeah, and like I said, all these measurements will be on my blog later um, for you all to write down and see. Oh, you're the end of the end of September, Kim. Your birthday's coming up. Awesome. My mommy's is the first of September. We just I just bought her a big bouquet of flowers. She loves flowers, so. Um, you know, once your parents get to be 86 years old, it's kind of hard to, to think of things to buy for them. They kind of have everything. So she likes pretty flowers, and um, my sister bought her some new pajamas. So <laughs> if y'all are looking for ideas for uh, your your mother or grandmother. Uh, all right. Whoa! Don't y'all love that? Oh, God, I love fall. It's so pretty. All right, let's do the inside. Oh, you know what? Darn it. I meant to put these on before we started. Ah. Uh. I need to put that in my list because it's going to be kind of difficult to get that on there now that I don't have anything to hold it with. All right, no problems. There we go. And this back piece. Hey. Okay. And so there's just enough room to write a little thank you note. This is Season of Thanks, a little thank you note. And our pumpkin. And put a little glue on our pumpkin. And I'm just going to put that right there in the bottom. Yay! What do y'all guys think? <laughs> oh, I hope you guys make a double Z fold this weekend. And if you do, um, on the Facebook page, uh, put a picture of it. Just go and just... Uh, make a post and put a picture of the card that you make. Share it with us. We want to see all the wonderful um, designs. Okay, Evelyn says, oh, Kim, your mom just turned 90. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, Evelyn says, I live in, okay, I... Sourland. I guess that's how you say it, because um, it looks like sour, but it's Sour is, yeah, anyways, which is called the Landscape of a Thousand Mountains. Oh, I bet it's gorgeous there, Evelyn. I love mountains. For you, they would probably be hills. Oh, <laughs> well, that is true. Y'all have the Alps in Europe. We don't quite have anything compared to that. I live near uh, Cologne, but I'm not sure about the state which corresponds to that zone, but I'll check and tell you. Okay, great, thanks. <laughs> or I can look it up too, but anyways. Awesome. Oh, Debbie loves the card. I hope y'all do. Um, y'all have a great weekend. Y'all make something. Have fun this weekend and uh, stay safe, okay? And we will see you Monday with another card tutorial. <laughs> Nicole likes it too. Thanks, you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>